Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rose Cottage Acres. Today, I'm working on a project I'm very excited about. I've been looking for something to make a quail aviary for my main group of quail for a while now, and I haven't really found out anything that is perfect. Well, the other day, I was at Reed's store, the Habitat Humanity store, and they actually had a chicken coop there, and I bought it, and I think it'll be perfect. I'm super excited. So this is the Advantec Solarium chicken coop. And what I like about it is it does have an enclosed space for them to exercise in. And then the house itself has two stories so they can easily get into the bottom story if they don't wanna go up to the top story. For the most part, quail really don't like to go up and down ramps. So this is going to be perfect for them. So I'm gonna be putting this together today. Now, uh, it looks like it is out of stock on a lot of sites. I assume that's why they got it, because it was an old stock item. But I'll see if I can find any links to show you where to purchase it if you decide you like it. I talk to people all the time who wonder how I can do things. This box is 65 pounds. I'm not gonna be able to lift it out of the car on my own, but I don't have to. So one way I'm able to do a lot of these projects I do, is I sit and think about it for a minute and decide how I can make it work for me. So I'm going to be taking the pieces out of the box instead of trying to remove the whole box. So now all the pieces are out on the ground and I was able to move 38 pounds and 65 pounds all by myself by deassembling all the boxes. Now I see the cardboard. I will be putting it down as a weed barrier in different spots. So bonus, tons of cardboard this time. Of course, a little bit of this Starf in which we don't have a place around here to recycle it. So that is definitely waste and that's a shame But even these boxes I will peel off all the tape and I can use them In pathways and put mulch on top so I don't have weeds So it's time to try to put this together and my mom came out and she's going to help me Good morning everybody and welcome back again. It is the next day. I ran out of battery and then I ran out of light. So I had to wait till today to show you the finished coop. I'm very excited about how everything came together. So is Doc. Hey Doc. And I uh, can't wait to show you how it all came together. Now just a reminder, I bought this coop from Habitat for Humanity Restore, which means it is an older coop. It's discontinued on Amazon and places like that, but there were some places that had it online. Now, I only paid $175 because it was in the ReStore as opposed to a normal store. I think it goes for about $400 online, but I really am pleased with how it turned out. So the finished coop is a pretty good size. It has a cute little cupola top. I put plastic around and then because I want to make sure there's plenty of ventilation I did use just rat wire on the bottom part of the door here because quail are stinky little critters you could not just put plastic everywhere and not have some ventilation spots so I did leave a spot that's ventilated but the ramp blocks the doorway so they don't have air blowing directly in now, everyone is currently kind of hiding up oh, nope, we've got someone eating here There's my rooster, and they are having fun in here, picking around. He's actually guarding the egg for whatever reason. There is an egg in there I didn't collect yet this morning. But almost everyone is hiding out inside. It's very windy here today, and they don't like it. They're 
hiding in the house. So I have this set up on two levels, but they were using this level yesterday. You can see where they've walked around some. Now today they've decided to all congregate downstairs. But I've got sand in the front half and then shavings in the back half. And downstairs, I've got a supplemental feeder and I've got another little hiding box. It is really important when you have a lot of quail to give them a lot of places to hide. So that's why I have these grasses, different places, and I have this little extra nest that someone just came out of. And then I have the box inside as well. The more places they had to hide, the better it is for them. Because then if someone's picking on somebody, they won't get hurt, they can get away. So it's definitely important if you have a lot of quail to make sure they have plenty of hiding spots. Right guys? <laughs> it looks like I hardly have any. It's just three of these guys out here and everyone else hiding away inside. They don't like the wind at all. <coughs> Doc's crying now too. Well, the rooster decided to go inside. So let's see what all these ladies are doing in here. So yeah, it um, is winterized to make sure that they do have enough protection. Katarnik's quail are supposed to be so hardy that they come out and play in the snow. But I still wanted to make sure they didn't have a lot of crazy winds blowing right in their houses and all. So, ventilation, but winterized, and they are liking it pretty good so far. And Doc's liking the company, aren't you, Doc? Now, the reason Doc lives alone is because he's a total sweetheart when he is alone. But he gets super protective of any ladies in his care. And that's kind of where he got his name. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I mean, he's an absolute doll baby when he's by himself. So he's kind of having fun having these guys next to him. He was trying to coax them over with treats earlier. He really doesn't seem to care that they're not chickens. He's just happy to have company. It is a beautiful Thanksgiving morning. And I wanted to show you guys all my little hens having a great time together. I certainly hope that your Thanksgiving is as happy and blessed as mine. Have a great day.